Hi! Welcome to the Product Basis tutorial. In this video, we'll learn what a product base is, how to use them, and how you can create one of your own. Let's get started. A product base is basically a blank version of any product you want to sell. It includes all the information needed to fulfill it, like print size and file format, and the information to display it in your storefront the mock-up images and variants like color and size. Product bases for print-on-demand providers are already available in Customly, so if you want to use any of their products, it's as easy as picking one and then adding a design to it. Simply choose any of our available suppliers to browse through the product catalog and pick the products you want to sell. Once you select a product, you will be able to pick the different variants you want to use, like sizes and color options and the area where you'd like to place the design, known as the print area. Then you just need to add a design to it to get the product published and that's it. Now, if you don't want to use a print-on-demand provider, keep watching. If you're doing in-house fulfillment or you use a print-on-demand provider that's not integrated with Customly, you can create your own product bases. Let's take a closer look at them by creating one together. Click on Create New Product Base on the Start menu or go to the left bar menu to find My Product Bases panel. You will start by naming your product base and setting its print dimensions. This will create a page together with a print area. Print areas are the places where designs will be placed. Designs will be centered and scaled to fit in the print area to ensure all elements are shown and printed perfectly. Most products will have one print area per page, but if needed, you can add more print areas to it. This will allow you to add multiple designs in a single page. This is useful for products like mugs, for example, where you have just one print file, but want to add two designs to it, one to the left side and one on the right side of the mug. If your product needs it, you can also add multiple print files to it. For example, if you want to sell hoodies with a design on the front and another design on the back, you will need two separate print files. Here you can add extra files. Each file will have its own print area so you can add designs to them separately. On the properties toolbox, you will define how you want the print file from the export format, such as PDF, PNG, or vector formats, its quality, color mode, and even if you need it mirrored to apply as a transfer. Once you're happy with the print settings, click Next to configure the product's mockup. Here, you'll start by uploading a blank image of the product and placing the print areas on the image. If your product comes in different color variants, you can upload all the different images at once here. Once you finish placing your print areas and your mockup looks good, click Next. Before saving the product base, it will show you both instances at the same time to make sure everything looks correct. You will see the print file on the left and the preview, which is the mockup your customers will see on your store, on the right. When you click Save, you will have the option to add variants to your product. Now, if you added multiple product images, like the t-shirt colors we uploaded, here you'll see them created as a color variant. By default, they will have the names of the image files you used, but you can change them here if needed. You can also add more variants here if you need to as well. A classic one is size. So if you will be offering different sizes, you can add the variant size and the values like small, medium, large, extra large. And if your variants knit different print sizes, for example, if you're creating a canvas with different dimensions, you can also do that by clicking save and add another print size. When you're done, hit save and that's it. You are ready to use your product base to publish some personalized products in your store. Once you start creating product bases, you will see them populate your start menu and product base section. From here, you can also edit, clone, or delete existing product bases. Now, to use your product bases when creating a new listing, just click on My Product Bases. This will list all your product bases so you can choose one and then the variants you want to offer as well as the print area. Then, simply pick a design to get the product published and that's it.
Now you're ready to create your own product bases and start adding designs to them. Don't miss our other tutorials on designs, templates, libraries, settings, and more. And remember, if you ever need help, you can contact our amazing support team using the help button in the right corner. Happy customizing!